Hello, Taurus. Welcome to your April 2024 reading. Uh, be sure to check up on the events page, groovygypsytarot.com uh, slash events, link down below to see the events coming up in April. All right, let's go ahead and let's get started. Everything's been pre-shuffled, so let's just hop right into it. Let's take your Oracle card. Okay. I did that to Pisces too. I accidentally took two, but you know there are no accidents. Let's see. All right. Whispers of love. Turn your heart light on. Okay, so Taurus, if you have a cancer placement, this also came out for cancer. Um, that's important to note just in case you do have a cancer. Oh, and interesting. If you're dealing with a Pisces, Mending came out for Pisces as well when I took two cards. Interesting. All right. So we have a situation, whether it's familial, whether it's uh, work-related, whether it's romantic, whether it's parent-child, whether it's, you know, um, with a good friend. In order for you to either extend forgiveness or to be forgiven, it will be extremely important for you to make sure that, it says by the book, make sure that you um, tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Even if the truth, you know, seems daunting, it will set you free in the long run. And with turn your heart light on, in order to either show compassion to somebody who needs your forgiveness, or for you to invite compassion into your life, you need to focus on a time when you experienced true, absolute love, you know? All right, so let's see what this means to you for April 2024. We have the strength card. We have the lovers. We have the devil. Oh my, okay, yeah. Just in those three cards, I see somebody is going to be needing forgiveness. Um, whether this is you or another. Tower, absolutely. Four of Wands. Ten of Cups. Hermit. Judgment. Three of Cups. Okay. Um, we are moving into the Mercury retrograde time period, so it does not it does not surprise me to see two cards of reunion showing up here. Ten of Ten of Cups, Three of Cups, um, as well as judgment, you know, where decisions need to be made, things of that nature. However, as you roll into April 2024, um, as you roll into April 2024, we have this energy here where you are having to be strong as a result of an ending that has occurred or some sort of surprise incident or surprise information or surprise um, situation occurs that sets you into this solitary mode of needing to pause and reflect. So whatever this is that happens, it causes you to become somewhat reclusive, to withdraw from others. Um, that could tell me that you may be dealing with a great deal of depression as a result of someone's actions or as a result of some sort of ending as you're rolling into the month of April. Obviously, I'm not a doctor. I cannot diagnose you with depression, anything of that nature. You would want to see a specialist. But I definitely see a pulling away, a pulling away from experiencing the fullness and the joy of life. As you're rolling into April, you're in that state. But yet... In the month of April, we have you and another person deep, you and another person that you have a strong magnetic attraction to. It could be that you meet this person and this person gives you this sense of excitement, the sense of happiness. And now there's this energy of, okay, well, what do I do now? 
What do you do now about this situation? This could also be that, especially with mending, that you and this person that have had a massive falling out, find your way back towards each other as a result of either forgiveness being extended. Judgment is about forgiveness. It's a card of forgiveness. It could be forgiveness in a family situation, forgiveness in a deep love relationship, forgiveness that brings harmony to a deep love relationship, forgiveness that brings harmony to making a decision regarding love. No matter how you look at this, forgiveness will be extended either to you or, or for you, right? So, so from you or to or for you, if that makes sense. And... It's going to bring harmony. It's going to bring excitement. It's like there's going to be this internal jubilee. Why are they giving me jubilee? <laughs> internal kind of jubilee, excitement, you know, um, celebration. And this internal celebration makes love even more fulfilling. With this particular lover's card in this deck, along with the devil card here, um, just use caution, Taurus. Just make sure that whomever this person is isn't coming back into your life to kind of flirt and, you know, have a little bit of uh, sexual chat or sexual connection and then have them waltz back out because it is Mercury retrograde period, right? So... Just use caution with that, that this person isn't trying to come in and, and waste your time. Does that make sense? Um, although you might have a little bit of fun, you know, regardless. <laughs> so what I'm seeing towards the end of the month is there's this extreme focus on, okay, what happens from here? What happens with this love connection going forward? There could be a lot of obsessing about the, the depth of the love that the two of you share or a lot of obsessing about, you know, how do you move forward? How do you move forward past this celebration? What is it that you do from here to keep this forward momentum with this person? A lot of love will be expressed and felt but there will be a lot of overthinking about this. Um, you may find yourself relying on the advice of friends and family. Be cautious of that because they don't always hold the same ideals. They don't always hold the same viewpoints as you. Um, I do see that this period of time in which you're rolling into April with this overwhelming feeling of solitude Use caution that as you move forward, it doesn't place you in a vulnerable position where somebody new comes in and shakes up your life and then causes a problem, right? So you want to be careful of that also in the month of April. Um, but I do see a very strong magnetic bond between you and another, a lot of love that, that can go the distance, and a lot of celebration, Provided you are able to forgive and let things go with, with a person. It could be you may need to forgive a person who is not in your life to open yourself up to this possibility of someone new. So that is also possible here as well. All right, Taurus, that's what I see for you for April 2024. I hope it will be of help to you. Love and light to you. Kiss, kiss from ocean. Mwah. And ta-ta for now.